had a really good time tonight. Thank you. I really like you. You're not like the other guys. I think I like you too. Uh, you know, my parents aren't home. You wanna, you wanna go up to my room? No! Ah. Don't do it, JT! Do you see this? Huh? This decision could impact the rest of your life. How? It will destroy your purity. Why does that matter? Purity is the greatest gift you can give to your partner. What? No. What about love and faithfulness and honesty? Is holding off on doing something fun the rest of my life the best way I can show someone I love them? Is it even the best way to be happy in a relationship? Absolutely! You want your wedding night to be special, don't you? I do, but I don't understand how fumbling about like an adolescent will make that night special. Wouldn't a better way to make it special be if I was experienced and talented in the bedroom, or if I already knew what pleased my partner, or if maybe if her hymen had already been broken before then? But JT, what about STDs? Purity is God's way of protecting you. Wouldn't a better way of protecting me from STDs be just to have not made STDs? God has rules for how to live a better life. Avoiding fun activities is a way to live a better life? And God doesn't seem to have a very good strategy for that. What about babies? Sex can result in pregnancy. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. Compare that to something like an IUD, which works 99.8% of the time. And even if normal contraception fails, I mean, that's, what's a, that's what abortions are for. Uh, JT? Who are you talking to? Hold on. JT, if you don't maintain your purity, God will send you to hell. Wait, hold on. So God makes sex really fun, makes it feel really good, so good, that 80% of evangelicals making abstinence pledges fail. And then he punishes me eternally for doing the thing that feels really good? I mean, God sounds like an ass. Blasphemy! Look, do you have any evidence for this God's existence? The Bible says so. Fuck off, purity bear. Okay, dude, you talking to yourself is kind of freaking me out. Uh, do you want to go to my bedroom or not? Uh, yes, absolutely. Awesome. Uh, have you been tested for STDs recently? Absolutely, I get tested twice a year. It's the responsible thing to do. Me too, I got tested last month. Two months ago. Yes, let's do it. You know what? This feels right. Uh, yeah, just rub that shit right over, right all over my face. You are using your throat, you can have it. I do. Be a... My dirty bitch. <laughs> Thrush. Thrush. Yes. You serious? Mm -hmm. Nice. That doesn't make any sense. Even an evangelical, even gosh, yeah, kind of penis balls testicle. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> you want a yeast infection? I can give. I can give you one in your mouth. Can you really? Yeah, it's called thrush. Oh, no shit. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna thrush to get some. Yeah. See what I did there? I did. <laughs> Are you ready? Yep. 
Are you recording? Yes. Oh, okay. I don't want pants so far up your butt, you get herpes in the mouth. Mm, nice. <laughs> you have a dick that big? I've seen your dick, it's pretty fucking small. I hate you so much. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> Who are you talking to? Bitch, I just gave you sweet love in five minutes ago. <laughs>